well done guys you have made it you have finished your exams and firstly i am so so proud of all the hard work you have been putting in um and i can't wait to results day so that you can see the hard work um on that bit of paper. If you are here watching this, then it's probably because you're thinking about year 12, thinking about summer, thinking about what to do next, maybe worried about the results day. Um, you are not gonna be one of those thousands of people that clicked unsubscribed when I popped up in my sub box, and today's gonna be a really sad day because I can see my subscriptions are gonna go and thousands of you are going to disappear. So um, this could be quite a long video because there's quite a lot of stuff that we can talk about. Now the, the, the stress, the worry of GCSEs is out of the way, we can start thinking about the future. Um, so in this video we're going to talk about why it's important that you relax over um, some holiday. We're going to be talking about A-level choices, we're going to be talking about resets, we're going to be talking about preparing for A-levels and then preparing for university as well. I know it's really in a way, there's some little bits that we can do. We're going to be talking about uh, potentially getting tutors, what you can do to prepare for results day. What we're going to talk about if you have a membership for GCSE to my website that you need to go and cancel that. Um, and then what I'm going to be up to for A-levels. So that's nine things I'm going to be talking about. That's quite a lot. So um, maybe pause the video and go and get yourself a little cup of tea and then come back and um, settle in. Um, right, firstly and most importantly is take some time over the summer to relax. Um, there is going to be a big, big change when you get back to school or college um, for year 12 and it is going to be a little bit of a shock to the system. So I know it's going to be really, really hard for you to get too much time relaxing in because you're going to be worried about your results and then after the results there's not much time before you actually start school again. So please take some time to sleep as much as you can, to see your friends as much as you can, to go out to the beach and dip your toes in the sea and to read books and to do stuff that maybe you've never done before so please take time to relax. Now in the middle of all your revision for your GCSEs you had to pick your A-levels and this might have been quite a long time ago for some of you now and you need to make sure that your A-level choices are the right choices and it's not too late to change your mind. So this is kind of like a little bit of preparing for university as well. If you know what you want to do at university, and I know loads of you have zero idea of what you want to do at university. If you know what you want to do at university, take a little bit of time, like half a day, go and look at these university websites and see what the entrance requirements are. For example, if you've got your heart set on being an architect, but they obviously don't offer architecture at A-level, um, you need to make sure you've got the right combination of A-levels to actually get you onto the course. For example, physics is a really good A-level for architecture, but maybe you didn't think so. Maybe you're taking like art, history and English, and not physics. It is absolutely heartbreaking to get to this point in year 12 and realise that you can't apply for your dream degree, the one you've dreamt about ever since you were a child, because you picked the wrong combination of A-levels. So just take half a day at the moment. Um, looking through all the stuff I've done about picking A-levels and check you've got the right combination for what you want to do. Now, if you don't know what you want to do, that is completely normal, that is completely fine. We do not expect you to have your life planned out at 16. Um, that is completely okay. Make sure you give yourself options though and by options I'm talking about things like facilitating subjects these are really really good things for you to pick and um, they give you a lot of choices when we get to this point in next year and you decide that again you still don't know what to want, you want to do don't narrow your choices down at this stage by picking a really really narrow set of A levels now even if you've handed in your choice even if you've made your firm decisions you can still change your mind. Um, if you, like, I don't know, pick biology, for example. If you predicted a four in biology, you didn't want to do biology for A-level, do not want to do science ever, ever again, but then you actually come out in the exam with maybe a six or a seven, way above what you expected. If you go to your biology teacher on the day today, 
me since I've changed my mind, I'd really like to do biology A level. You know, I got a seven and I was predicted a four. Like I really enjoyed the subject much more than I thought I was going to. There is a very, very good chance they will say yes. And if there is space, they will let you on the course. The other thing might happen, you might be depicted sixes or sevens and then you might on the day have got a four. Now this can be absolutely heartbreaking if you're not going to get onto the course that you want to, but in this circumstance go and talk to your teachers. You can have the choice here of switching to a different course where maybe you did slightly better than expected. If you did combine science then look at the breakdown in the individual papers. If you didn't get the grade in combined science, say maybe you got a 6 in combined science and you needed a 7 to go on and do A level chemistry. Have a look at that actual papers. Maybe it was your biology grade that dragged you down in combined science and go and say to your teachers, look, this is what I actually got in the chemistry paper. So I know I didn't get the grade overall, but I got this on the chemistry papers. Will you still let me on the course? If you get onto a course and decide it really, really isn't for you, then there is still a lot of flexibility, generally up to the first half term, more in the first few weeks, changing courses and even changing schools or colleges. So have a serious think about your A-level choices and um, if you really pick the right things, it is not too late to change your mind. Now I did mention a little bit about preparing for university. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot to the year 12s because it is the summer between year 12 and year 13 where we really start to prepare you for university. And if you could spend this summer reading a few books and that you can talk about in your university um, applications and that's going to be really really great. I'm not talking about writing my loads of stuff but you know pick up a couple of general interest books in the subject that you might want to do at university and then go and read those on the beach. That is a perfectly valid thing for you to do. And if there is a lot of reading in your A-level subjects, if you're doing English or history, then look at the texts that you're going to have to read next year, get them early and then go and read them on the beach. Chances are you're going to have to read those books for English one, two, three, five, ten times. Um, reading it for the first time while you've got a cold drink in your hand and you're squidging your toes in the sand or while you're lying in the garden and you've got the nice cool grass underneath you, well, that's going to be much nicer than doing it for the first time when you're stressed and when you're worried about an exam. All the stuff that we learn at GCSE is going to be needed for A-levels. Now, for A-level chemistry, I've written you kind of like a transition guide. I've called it a summer start to A-level chemistry. It takes the stuff we did at GCSE, makes it a tiny bit harder. I've written you all the videos, I've written you a load of questions. And it's kind of like the easy bits of A-level combined with the hard bits of GCSE. And it kind of like gives you a way to teach it to yourself. Now, your A-level classes are going to be different from your GCSE classes. There is going to be different people in there. Um, maybe some people did you know, different combinations of subjects, different examples. Maybe you switched to a completely different college. Do not worry. Your teachers are fully prepared for this to happen. It happens every single year. We know that when you turn up in your first A-level class, you've pretty much forgotten everything you did for GCSE even though you weren't supposed to, you're supposed to remember everything. So um, don't worry too much about that. We know this happens. If you come out with a grade six or a grade seven in the subject that you want to do for your A-level, especially grade six, then it might be worth you thinking about getting a tutor um, because there is a big big jump between GCSE and A-level and if you leave getting your tutor until too late then you might find yourself struggling a little bit. Um, the best students I've had are the ones who have realised that you know they really want to do this for, they really want to do this course um, at A-level and potentially at university so let's not risk it, let's get a tutor straight away. And I'll put some links down below if you want to go and find one. In the week up to results day, I'm going to be publishing loads of videos, talking about what happens if things go missing, talking about do you need to go and get a remark, talking about, you know, 
all your different choices. You can go and look at the videos from last year, but I am going to be publishing new ones for you. If you're one of the people that got a membership to my website, then please go and remember to cancel it. Now, because of the title of this video, I'm assuming you're all year 11s. I'm assuming that you do not need your GCSE membership anymore. Go and cancel it. On the, it's going to be the first week of August, what we're going to do is put the price up. Now the reason we are going to be putting the price up is because this will automatically trigger an email out to everybody and you have to opt back in again. Um, so if you don't opt back in again, it will automatically cancel your membership and you won't be charged for another year. Um, so the reason we're doing that is so that you don't get charged for another year, but please Go and remember to cancel your membership to my website so that you don't get charged. And then while you're over there, you can have a look at my A-level memberships um, for biology and chemistry and maybe maths. And then what I am spending my summer holiday doing is trying to replicate everything that I have for GCSE into A-level. So the revision guides, um, like, you know, the checklists and lists of everything you need to know are nearly done for biology and chemistry. Chemistry and biology is just basically, it's going to be the checklist of what you need to know. And then there's just a load of stuff you need to recall, way more than in um, GCSE. And I'm going to try and put, like, a I don't want to call it a data booklet, I'm going to call it like a, a fact booklet, I'll think of a better name for it. Um, at the front of the revision guide, it's just a load of stuff you need to remember. And then I'm going to be trying to publish weekly videos and workbooks and papers and the multiple choice questions. Um, definitely going to be coming for A-level biology and A-level chemistry and I'll try and do it for all the exam boards and maybe A-level maths, but that might be a little bit slower. So... Um, oh yes, and resets. I cannot forget about resets. Um, if you're one of the people that does not get the grade in English or maths, then unfortunately the government says you have to keep resetting it until you do get that grade full. Um, now I've seen some students who have unfortunately had to reset their maths nine times, um, which makes me disagree with the government that this is a good thing to do or a good way to do it because it's it's just not working for some students but unfortunately that is what the government says that you have to do you have to keep resitting the same exam or well, the same exam same style of exam over and over and over again until you either leave education or until you get that grade i'm going to be doing um some stuff for resets of maths um so watch out for those and if you are one of these people then big hugs to you um, so yeah, enjoy your summer holiday guys. I know this is like a ridiculously long video and I talked about loads and loads of stuff that, you know, you probably haven't heard me talk about before because it's all been exams, 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 exams and I was kind of like thinking about the future. Um, so yeah, good luck. I will see you in the run up to results day and then I'll see you in September. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.